Hi everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and today I'm about to take you through a quick lower body workout. For this workout, I'm using dumbbells and a chair. Uh, cat is optional, <laughs> but he's probably going to stay there for most of the workout. So, um, I have my interval timer set for 10 rounds, 10 seconds rest, 50 seconds maximum repetitions. You can also choose to do this routine for repetitions instead of for time. I will post the entire breakdown on my website, benderfitness.com, so you can see how to do it both ways, or you can just follow along with me in the video, whatever works for you. So I have my interval timer set. We have 10 seconds to prep. The first exercise is going to be a squat. So grab your dumbbells. We're going to bring them up to shoulder height. Feet are hip distance or slightly more apart. And we're going to reach our butt back, keep our chest lifted, and squeeze up through the glutes to, to lift. Pushing through the heels to stand. And give it a strong squeeze every time you get to the top. Good job. Keep moving. Almost there. Okay. Next we have split squat. So I'll put my weights down for a second. I have to move the gamut at least a little bit. One foot goes up on the chair. He doesn't want to let me put mine up there. Weights in your hands. Uh, and we're going to take a deep bend in the front knee to lower our hips toward the ground. Push through that heel to stand up. Good job. Breathe. Keep moving. Good job. Same thing on the other side. So get ready to take your big step back with your other leg. Gambit's going to let me up there this time. Find your balance. And again, lowering the hips directly down to the floor. So not a forward and backward motion, but an up and down motion and pushing through the front heel to stand. Breathe. Keep going. Good job. Next we have in and out squats. So you can use one or two dumbbells for this one. Give my shoulders a rest for just a second. Okay. Weight goes to shoulder height. We're going to do a closed leg squat. Step out to the right side. Wide leg squat. Into center. And then back out to the other side. Breathe. Try not to stop moving. And reach your butt back, just like you do on your regular squats. Okay, next we have warrior deadlift. Give my hands a rest for a second again. We're gonna stand on one leg. Let our right leg extend first, 
Hinge forward at the hips, back stays flat throughout the movement. Arms extend, letting the weights come down close to your shin. And you can have a slight bend in the standing leg. Same thing on the other side. So we're going to extend our left leg this time. Slight bend in the standing leg. Uh, Gambit's done with our workout. <laughs> Good job. Keep that back flat and keep moving. going guys we're almost there okay next we have curtsy lunge so we're going to keep one dumbbell I'm going to move my mat forward just a little bit okay so hold your dumbbell in both hands you can bring it to shoulder height we're going to step our left foot back and across at an angle, bring the weight to the outside of our hip, back to shoulders, step it in. All one side, we're going to do the other side next. So big step back, lunge. Okay, same thing on the other side. So we have our 10 seconds break. And we're going to step our right foot back at an angle toward the left corner of the room. Or whichever side you didn't just do. For the last exercise, we'll be down on the mat. Find that balance. Almost there. Last exercise is a single leg glute bridge, so we'll be down on the mat. The weight is going to go across our hips. We're going to do each side separately. So weight on your hips. Slight lift, leg is straight. We're going to lift the hips and bring the knees together. Drop, lift, and drop. So still pressing those hips as high as you can get them. Breathe. Really isolating the hamstrings and the glutes. It burns already. Breathe. Same thing on the other side. So left leg is going to extend, right heel plant. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> Hips lift and 
lift those knees together, press the hips high. Last exercise. Job, guys. Keep those hips moving. Ten seconds left. Ah, oh, we're done with that round. Okay. So as always, you can repeat the workout to make it more intense. You can pair it with cardio. The entire breakdown will be on my website, benderfitness.com, along with how many rounds I recommend, what additional cardio, what else I did today. Um, so everything will be there, benderfitness.com. Also, with weights, anytime we do a weighted workout, I encourage you to use the heaviest weight that you can handle. Um, it'll help your muscles build sh shape and strength faster. So don't be afraid to challenge yourself. Don't be afraid to lift a little heavier than you're used to if you have that option available to you. Um, if you don't, you can always just focus on getting in more reps with really good form. So I hope to see you guys there. Click like if you like the workout. Click subscribe if you like getting pre-workouts. I'll see you guys next time. Hi everybody, my name is Jesse Bender and this is my workout of the day. We're going to be focusing mostly on arms and abs, core. We're going to target the front of the abs, the obliques, the love handle area, our hip flexors and lifters, and low back. So other variations of doing this could be throwing in some cardio in between each exercise. I'll leave that up to you. I'm going to go straight through. We're going to do 50 seconds, max reps of every exercise, and then 10 seconds to prep for the next exercise. I'll try to explain how to do these with proper form or variations as we go along. Stick with me and uh, let's hop right into it. The very first exercise is, of course, burpees or burpees. So we have 10 seconds of prep. We're gonna squat down and jump our legs out into a push up, jump them back in and jump for the ceiling as high as we can. I'll switch sides. Down. Out and do a strong plank. Try not to let your butt down or up. Do a push up, off your feet in, as high as you can. Get in as many as you can. Or you can step up and squeeze or jump if you have back problems. Sometimes it's fun just to do things like turning the other way. Alright, next up, we have twisting V up. So I'm going to use my mat for this one. What we're going to do is try to balance on our bums with either straight legs or bent. I'm going to twist up the tap opposite while reaching behind me. And twist. Tapping each arm and reaching as best you can. Melissa makes these look a lot easier. Oh, last seven seconds. We can do this. Three, two, one. All right, next up, let's target those arms. It's called walk the plank. I'll turn to a little angle here for you. Remember, nice plank position. We'll go down with one arm on our forearm, then the other arm, plant with the hand, and back up. 
I find it best to balance the exercise by starting with one hand down, forearm down. After so many, you switch which one you put down first. So now go left. Try your best to keep that core engaged, pulling it in tight. Like, ooh, trying to put that belly button to your spine. If you need a rest in this position, stay in that plank. Either on forearms or your hands. Doesn't matter. Ooh, four, three, two, one. All right, next up, I'm gonna use a weight for this. You can do this with a weight or without a weight. We're gonna do Russian twist. So again, balancing on our bums. I'll go at an angle. I'm gonna use a 12 pound dumbbell. You can do this with bent legs or straight legs. Whatever challenge you wanna give yourself. We're gonna twist and tap the ground. Twist, tap the ground. Really engaging those obliques in down the middle of your core, right around your belly button. That really ridiculously tough area to get rid of belly fat. Try your best to keep a straight back. I curve too much. So don't always use me for the best example of this. Refer to one of Melissa's videos for a nice straight back. But I do my dangdest. Oh man, that was quick. Next up, ah, uh, we got Superman push-ups. What we're gonna do is, we'll start off laying on our bellies. That doesn't sound bad, right? Well, let's make it bad. We're gonna lift and raise up, squeezing our shoulder blades together, pushing those hips in the ground into Superman. Plant those hands. Remember that plank. Push up, down, with the other elbows out or next to your side, whichever feels best. Superman. Push up. You should be fighting crime by the end of this exercise. If you're not, do it again. Ten seconds left. Let's do this. When you Superman, point those toes. Next up, we have oblique drops. Or salute your love handles goodbye. It's best to use a weight for this, like a kettlebell, a dumbbell. I'm using 20 pounds. What we're going to do is stand. Planted feet down from your shoulders on the ground. We're going to salute with one hand or hit on the back of your head. You'll see why. We're going to let that weight carry this arm down to the ground. Try and point that saluting elbow to the ceiling and let it pull back up. Don't shrug your shoulder. Let your abs on this side pull you back up every time. We're gonna focus on that. I talk too much. <laughs> if you're doing it right, you'll know. As those abs contract on the saluting side, it pulls that weight back up. Always try to do things the same speed going down, same speed going up. That was time, let's switch sides, let's salute. Those love handles, goodbye. Let that weight pull down my arm. I'm gonna try to put that elbow to the ceiling. Pull it back up. Remember, never use a weight beyond your capabilities. Don't think, well, I'm gonna hit the speed button on this and pick up a 45 pound dumbbell. That could, that could lead to many back problems and future problems. Always engage that core. Remember, purse let breathing to control that diaphragm. All right, next we have Frogger push ups. Of course, plank position. I'll show you from this angle. In that plank, we're going to hop our feet up like a frog. Either with feet spread apart or together up underneath you. That really engages the abs. 
Hopping back out into a strong plank. Be sure not to jerk your back. Push up. Thus, the Frogger push up. Get in as many as you can with good form. I like to switch, put the knees out, knees in. I thought it would. All right, side, plank, hip drop with a leg lift. Now we're really gonna target those obliques. We're gonna plant either on your forearm, especially if you have shoulder problems, or up on your hand. Feet stacked on top of one another, or one right in front of the other. However it keeps you balanced, we're gonna let that hip drop towards the ground. Same thing with those salutes. Let it pull back up, like there's a string attached to your hip to the ceiling when it reaches its apex. That's right, we had to make it worse. We're gonna do a side kick. Really works those muscles all the way down your hip and into your thigh. I'll show you the variation of the forearm. Hip drop, leg lift. Hip tap, leg lift. Sometimes my shoulders give me problems, so I do it from the forearm. Well, that was quick. Switch sides. Let that diaphragm expand those bellies. Out, purse lifts. Not that. Purse lifts. Stack those feet. Let's drop those hips. Do a nice kick up to the ceiling. Pull up, kick. Remember, control that breathing. You always want to keep your elbow below your shoulder also. You don't want it flaring way up here, or way too far underneath you. You will hurt your shoulder, and you'll hear it. You'll feel it pretty dang quick. Let's do a few for my hand. Let's kick it up a notch. Tap. Tap. What the heck? That's the end of it. That's our workout for the day. Now, you can either do that one time through if you're feeling better. You want to do this again? Do it two times. If you're really up to it and want the challenge, do it three times. Just don't complain at me when you're extremely sore. So this is my workout of the day and running, which everybody should do. Uh, be sure to go to BenderFitness.com if you like getting free workouts like this one. We have well over 500 other Three home workouts that you can take to the gym, you can take to work, you can take anywhere. So please click like if you like the video and if you like getting free workouts. We hope to see you all there. Remember BenderFitness.com. Look up Melissa Bender, my beautiful wife who's inspired all of this. And uh, good luck. Please let us know how your results go and how fast you salute away those love handles. Thanks. Bye.